Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to work on this little 50cc kids quad. I don't know what it is, a Giovanni or something, a Chinese bike, no name. So, guy down the road brought this to me. It's working perfectly fine, but it's leaking gas out of the bottom of the car. So we're going to haul the carb off it, all the part, and see what's going on. Now, I had a quick look there. I seen this one of the carbs that is non, they don't want you to service it. They just want you to replace it. But people drilled out the two pins, put bolts in there. And this is what he got done. He got it drilled out, got a couple of screws put through, through there. He got some seal stuff put on it to stop it. So I got to fix that up again. I got to cut all that off, try to fix that up. See if we can fix it or not. Might not be able to, might I just replace it because from what I've seen, this a repair like that is usually a one time thing. All right, let's get out, see what we got to work with. So, I'm gonna take this off. You must have the seat broke on it. Yeah, clip this back here. Here's the seat. See, so you get the, no, the pins are not broke actually. I don't know why you had a bungee cord on there anyway. So, you got voice scripts put on the line to kink her eye. So, what we need to be done now is just take these out. You see, there's two, there's one here and one on the other side. That's usually a 10, 10 millimeter. That's the first thing we do. All right, so I removed the bolts. Ready, the are there. We got a gasket that goes between spacer gasket type thing it broke i might have one around here somewhere i think because i got a few of them scrapped so it might not be a big deal if not they'll have to order it so next we go with the throttle cable just here on top just on screws i'll try to do it for you guys here yeah just unscrew it like so pull it out yeah, we got uh, most of these bikes have just already gone off them. Oh, we got our breather still attached there, right there. I think I can, or it's already loosened up, I think. If not, if you just loosen up your clamp. And you pull it right off. After you move your fuel line, I'll go on the other side and show you that. All right. So you feel lines right here. So it's basically this nip that together, move the to move the clamp thing up, pull your line off. So I'll do that. I right, got the breather slacking up like I said. I'm getting that off right there. And you're right ready to haul out. So it is, I gotta pull it out. Like I said this was either a one of them carbs that didn't mind you take it apart, or they lost the screws, and this is what they did. They stuffed this through there. There's the bolt with it on it. This side looks fine. The problem is this side. They put this on there, so it obviously leaked or something. So I gotta get that off of there now. Get that off. Basically, take off these two. Yours look a little bit different. This would just trade in it. So with the nut on, let's basically take them off, all this cap off. I'll get at that, and I'll come back and show you once I get it off. Sorry for not being on the film while I'm showing you, but I'm only got two hands and I'm by myself, as usual. All right, so I got the cover off. I found out what the problem was while that piece was on there, because they broke this off right here so it, it was actually a carb you could take apart in service because you can see the treads and that saw there but they broke it so they basically put as tight as they can get it and they put seal stuff around it to stop it from leaking now in order to clean one of these carbs i don't think the carb really needs to be clean because you do run perfect just she's leaking so what i'm thinking is to Float isn't to stop sealing off and stopping the fuel from coming into carbon. So we're going to have to have a look at that, even though it seems to be working fine. 
but who knows all right so what we're going to do anyway since we got our part we're going to take these two out basically just flat screwdriver take them out hold them up to the light see if you can see trim if not blow trim with an air compressor or something i'll take them out and show you what it looks like all right i got them out so it looks like right now one come out of there there and I got the float needle out. Basically, the only thing to do with the float needle is this little pin right here. Just slides through there. Slides right through there. Slides out. It pulls it off. So, what I was saying about here, just here, got little small holes. I don't know if you can see if you zoom in there. There's little small holes in this. Both of them got it. This one you can see on better though. Put it up in the light, see if they're clear, but not clear them out. Alright, got them all blowed out, all clear. It was pretty clear anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this. So I can get a balance here for you. Show you a little bit of what I can do. So, big one, size in there, screw it in. Little one goes in there, screw it in. Basically, get screwdriver, you just snug this. Don't, don't go overboard with it. I can't do that while well, I got the camera open, but just little turn, little turn. This off. Don't go overboard with it. And yes. I just cut my fingers. Too lazy going out. Good bandage, but I will in a minute. All right, so here we are. All the insides put back together. Two of them's in there. Got the float needle in. He basically just the little needle just hooks on there. Pin just shoves through. Very easy losing. Don't losing. Basically, this all is to that. Now, the way this works. When there is, when it's full of gas, he floats shut like he is there now. When no gas in, he's open. All right, so you basically, this hand, you can blow through that. The gas can get in. If you can't blow through it, the gas is cut off. Right now, where she sits right now, if I blow through that, can't, can't blow on it. So that means she's seated. She's not letting any gas in. If I can blow on it, it means this float is up a little bit and she's still letting gas in. So she continuously let gas in and it got to go out somewhere. It's going to go out your, your overflow and that's why you'll be leaking gas. Should basically be sitting level. Let's see if the car sits on the boat this way. So as you can see it's down. As the gas and so now gas can come in as the gas is coming in it flow it up it's still off so it should flow it up flush stop the gas like right now yeah perfect it's sealed off can't blow in it so it's working fine go ahead and put your cover back on basically cover back on two screws sauce to that and she back together reverse all your steps Put your seal on, make sure it goes on right. You got a seal on this side. Your little black plastic piece got a seal on it too. Put the non sealed side up against the sealed side on this side, sealed side up against where it bolts onto your bike. Basically, down here for your chummy, for your throttle cable, you see two little pins there. Your throttle cable got to line up and slip down in that. One is bigger than the other. You'll see on your throttle cable, there's a bigger cutout on one end than the other. So make sure the bigger cutout goes down over the bigger pin. Make sure it slides down and slides down right in the sleeve. Screw it on. Put your intake on. Screw it on. And don't forget about your fuel line. That's about all there is to that. I'll go ahead, put her back together, and show you it from there. 
before I do put it back together, I'm going to mention, because yours probably broke like that too, or you might have broke yours, what I'm going to do to try to make this work again. Just using this black silicon. I uh, put a light layer around here. So basically, I'm going to glue, glue it on there. But it's not going to be glued on like he had. He had hard stuff. This is only rubberized. So I'm still going to be able to take it out finally. Once I get this on, I'm putting a little layer around the outside ring too. Let this all set up before I put the gas to her. Just, I don't know, it might never work, but I think it will. So that's just a little tip that if yours had broke like this one. So here's what I did. Got it together like I said. I was going to put a layer of the rubber silicon around there. The troubled area, I put, you can see it there, that clear stuff, seal off. That stuff hardens up hard, so the friendly and good with gas. It's this stuff. Just put a little bit of that there, just, just enough to keep her together. So, I'm going to let this sit and dry overnight. And then I'm going to come back to you. It's going to be overnight for me, but it'll be only a second for you. So I'll come back to you, see how it works out. All right, so it's the next day for me now. All this is sealed up and dried. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on now. It's basically the same way it goes on. Just reverse it as the way I showed you what it's going on. So I'll go ahead down there now and put it on and I'll come back to you. All right, so I didn't manage to get the car back on the bike. Sadly, the customer come and got her before I could show you that uh, it was back on, there was no gas that leaking out of it, and it was running good. So I guess you just got to <laughs> take the word on that one. But anyway, the purpose of this is if I can do it, you can do it. This is the, this is the whole purpose of this video. Is I'm sure there's better ways to do it, easier ways. Some maybe say I did it wrong, but it worked. So follow these steps. It should work for you. Like I say, if I can do it, you can do it. And like always, like, share, and subscribe.